This is page 214. And on page 214, we're only going to do two problems. We're going to do numbers 20 and 21. And we're going to skip the rest of the page. All right, let's check it out. Number 20 reads, at Brian's bookstore, 0 and 3 tenths of the shelves hold mysteries, 25% of the shelves hold travel books, and 7 twentieths of the shelves hold children's books. Which type of book covers the most shelf space in the store? Explain how you arrived at your answer. What makes this tricky is that 0 0.3 is a decimal, and 25% is a percent, and 7 twentieths is a fraction. It's hard to compare um, a decimal to a percent to a fraction, so we need to make a choice. Do we want to make them all into decimals? Do we want to make them all into percents? Do we want to make them all into fractions? I think what we should do is convert them all into percents. I think that would be the easiest thing to do. So we already know 25%. Now what we're going to do is convert 0 0.3 into, well, what is 0 0.3 equal to? 0 0.3 is equal to, it's a 3 in the tenths place, so it's equal to 3 tenths. And percent means out of 100, so what we want to do is multiply by 10 to make it 30 hundredths. And 30 hundredths is equal to 30%. So now I've got 25% compared to 30%. Now I've got 7 twentieths. I need to deal with that. 7 twentieths is equal to, well, I need to find that as a percent, and percent means out of 100, so I'm going to multiply by 5. And if you multiply both terms by 5, you end up with 100 and 35. And 35 out of 100 is equal to 35%. So now we have 25% compared to 30% compared to 35%. And all we have to do is just uh, select the highest. It says which type of book covers the most shelf space and explain, I would say, something to this effect right here. Uh, 720 was children's books, so I would say children's books because 720 is equal to 35%, which is greater than... 0 0.3 and 25%. That is a good answer. All right, good job. Let's move on to number 21. Number 21 is a hot question, and it reads, A newspaper article reports the results of an election between two candidates. The article says that Smith received 60% of the votes, and that Murphy received one-third of the votes. A reader writes in to comp complain that the article cannot be accurate. What reason might the reader have to say this? Well, if there's only two candidates, uh, what would their two amount of votes need to add up to? Well, if Smith received 60%, uh, Murphy would need to receive 40%. Now, the reason I'm coming up with 40% right here is because uh, 60 and 40 add up to 100. Oh, the two candidates need to get all the votes. But it doesn't say that. It says Murphy received uh, one-third. So I'm going to go back and erase this, and I'm going to write one-third. Well, what is one-third? Well, we've asked you to memorize this one. One-third is... It's 1 divided by 3. It's 0.333333, and it repeats forever. And so what percent is that? It's about... 33%. Now, some kids would say, well, it's 33 and a third percent, or 33.3. It's not really the point, because is 60 plus 33 equal to 100? It is not. So that's what this person is saying when it says right here, a reader writes in to complain the article cannot be accurate. What the reader is saying is, the reader is suggesting that the uh, article cannot be accurate because 60% plus 33% is not equal to 100%. Okay, good job. You are done with page 214, and you're now done with lesson 8.2. You can go ahead and take the checkup and the quiz.